I think for uh, the last time that Peke played Syndra, I'd, uh, if I was to hazard a guess, because I don't have the stats right in front of me, which slightly annoys so me, but I'd say Spring Split last year. Pressing LMQ back here, trying to get them away, but LMQ have pulled that red buff out to the back of the pit. And the teams are actually not even willing to send their soul laners. The mid laner is deserted. It's actually a three on three, but it's still going to be a smite fight. Vasily and LMQ's team get the red. Oh, Joe, you were saying Cyanide may have some trouble on Lee Sin, but without a red buff as well, it's going to make it even harder. That red buff going over to No Name. They're getting what they want out of this. Peke tries to end the fight. He gets level two on the lane. Locks them up with the W crowd control, and it looks like they could go hard on this one. Shao Wei Shao now coming from the mid lane. That's going to be a takedown going over to Yellow Star. First blood over to Shao Wei Shao on Fizz. A much Past few games, he hasn't even been laying down equalizers at the first three dragons of the game. Teams are making sure of that. And the Rumble pick seems to really be a curse at this point. Ackerman in the bottom lane taking a lot of damage, trying to bait in right. Oh! Walking back and forth, trying to get onto the Lantern, but he just can't do it. Reckless, able to pull himself in a kill there and gets exactly what he wants. To their strengths. It's gonna work for now, but it won't last forever. This is actually how Fnatic won their game against Blue in a sense. They tunneled and channeled all their farm into Peke and Reckless. Oh, Not a bad choice when Reckless is this strong on Lucian. BF sword and two long swords this early. He's a scary dude. Where's the calling from Reckless? There is the dash in. One more will do it. He finishes off in style with it. He is now in a position where he can farm against a Maokai who is a little bit behind in experience since they were trying to babysit him with a support thresh. Reckless sat at 2 0. Brutalizer was finished off after those two long swords were picked up with his BF sword. Gonna come back into lane and maybe some trouble as we are gonna see Shao Wei Shao diving towards Peke. Gets locked up, Sinai there follows through afterwards with the Q and Peke gets the kill. Shao Wei Shao has not played against Lissandra of Peke's caliber, I do not think, because he is getting toyed with in that mid lane. Peke's Lissandra is destroying the Fizz, turret after the kill. Already 11 minutes in, they drop the first one, the big turret as well. And you already see Fnatic trying to control the buffs. This is going to be a big fight. The teleport coming in from Soaz. Equalizer getting laid down very nicely. LMQ is able to get out of that danger, but there's still more to be had. No name going to try to come over the wall. Ackerman now back into the fight. In. Laying down the Vengeful Maelstrom to try and soak up damage. Peke gets hit up once. Ackerman now the focus of the fight. He's been behind a little bit. Now he gets taken. Reckless did shove it all the way up to get that farm so that he could pick up that Infinity Edge, which he just did on the back. And actually, they're going to close in on the wall uh, towards Ackerman. Kick up to the brush. They get a nice Sonic Wave, though, to keep the vision in the brush. Oh, they're just going to burn this one down, turn Ackerman into ashes in the end. And they are going to be able to take him down once again. That one going over to Cyanide, making plays on Elise. They didn't have time to set up the game. Now they're coming though. Yeah, Fnatic gonna start squeezing here a little bit. Yellow Star actually gonna face check in. There is the Hulk landing, but where's the damage out of LMQ? Cyanide's gonna come around. Monsoon was used by Yellow Star. Exhaust goes on to Ackerman. Can they keep him alive? No, they can't. But Reckless will reply with his third kill of the game. And Cyanide's not done. Here comes Peke. It was 0 7 0, right? This is two games in a row where he's had a big struggle to get going. Yes, he's picked up two kills in this one, but he is under the same stress of all the top laners who get trapped in these lane swaps, under farm, but still trying to make plays. Oh, Ackerman once again in a bad spot, and Jat, that tilt is a very real thing. We saw it against Team Solo Mid. Twist and advance just at the perfect time, or at the perfectly wrong time, I guess yep. you could really call it, to follow Peke all the way in. Start off well for uh, yeah. Shao Shao on to Soaz, though. Shao Wei Shao was a monster in starting this fight, and then even forcing Cyanide to flash over the wall, which is why LMQ felt so confident. This was their chance to make it back in. Ackerman follows all the way, which actually wasn't the worst thing, but then they pile in a little bit on top of Equalizer. Ackerman was way ahead of his team, and Honestly, Peke, you think he's wow. gonna die here, but it's invulnerability into invulnerability into a whole bunch of burst damage, and Reckless finishes them all off. Pulling off those assassinations were just diminished greatly. These games leave everything up in the air. Oh, that's really bad news for Xiao Xiao. Going off to the side, the Howling Gale does connect. There's wow. the kickback into Reckless, who says hello. Dashes over the wall, dodges out away from Jarvan's knockoff. They're going to get both of these, and it's both of them that go to Reckless, and they're not done yet. Ball gets locked up, then one for Cyanide. And that's the way he decides to go back. Just good stuff across the board. 
And the danger I think that LNQ now have is yes, they're gonna try and sit on those inhibitor turrets and try and get involved with Shao Wei. Shao and Soas gonna go head to head. And there is the equalizer coming down and Soas says, you know what? I kind of fancy this one. He's gonna get no the way. in the last second, but there is a flame spitter to come out. Pursuit there to get out of Moore's hook. Pep Reckless completely safe. And like you said, Soaz just having his way with the top lane right now. It's going to have to call pressure off of this bottom turret. For LMQ, Fnatic's loving it right now. And they are really looking to seal the deal. They don't want another 70-minute game whatsoever. Top inhibitor turret is going to be going down. Going for broke. Shao Wei Shao is in with Ackerman in the twisted advance. Reckless with the peel for himself with a bit of cyanide cripple on the end. Fnatic Peke will go down, but he's already delivered so much damage. The team's going to come in. They got the janitorial duty to clean this one up. Ackerman's going to be going down, not before he gets his own retribution kill. Good items coming out, Peke. We see him finishing up his Rabadons now, able to put out a huge amount of power, even going down in that fight. Got out so much damage that it still went in their favor with the rest uh -oh. of the Uh-oh. Yeah. That's Reckless. how strong Reckless is. He is terrifyingly fed right now. 13-0-4, very near to max items. Not even a frozen heart completed for Ackerman. Plus, you add to that, the extra AD the Janus Shield adds to him. Uh -oh. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's managed to just you hop away, say, but guys. the Q lands, and that is good night, shall we? I think for Fnatic, the model they have to go with is it's not over yet, because they'll be two and three after this, and they've already beaten Samsung. Uh-oh, Death Brush. Who's going to be the first target? Ackerman actually diving to the backside, but he's going to be going down quickly. Yellow Star actually focused by Vasily, trying to get the reset. There's the equalizer. They've got to walk back over it. Double kill for Reckless. Can he get any more here? He will get more. And now they're on towards No Name. Are they trying to give a pentakill yep. over to Reckless? They are. There's the Quadra. Can he get himself the pentakill? Cyanide and Peke both closing in. There's the slow. Shall we? Shall goes over the wall, Reckless comes in and gets the pentakill. What a fight there for Fnatic. Yes, they had the huge lead, but if you need a mental pick-me-up after a devastating defeat, it's that. 18 kills for Reckless? That's absolutely absurd without dying. That is how you pick yourself up off the ground, and Fnatic is going to take down LMQ. From tears to cheers, Reckless comes up with a pentakill at 18.04. 37 minutes on the clock, not a 70 minute game this time. They put the nail in the coffin. They put the nail in LMQ. Fnatic comes up with the win. Yeah, and after performance like that, there is hope yet for Fnatic. We need to start talking about tiebreaker scenarios here for them. And for OMG, we need to start talking about whether or not it's cause for concern, right? Because they're now two and two on the group and could very well be involved in one of those tiebreakers. It's very difficult to look at this group and wonder what could have been, not just for Fnatic, for LMQ as well, starting off perfectly now, sat at two and two. Samsung Blue, of course, at two and one. OMG, two and two, Fnatic, two and three, so, yep. It's ridiculously <laughs> close and anything can still right. happen in theory. OMG's been looking pretty good. There's, so two things can happen, we can have a, four-way tie at three and three. That could still happen. No one's at four losses yet, and no one's at four wins yet. You can also get a tie in the middle of the standings with Fnatic. Uh, this is just from Fnatic's right. point of view, the two tiebreakers that could work for them. If they tie with LMQ three and three, Samsung Blue is four and two, and OMG is two and four, that's the second way they can get a tiebreaker. But, I mean, they just have to sit and wait and prepare for the monsters of the group, Samsung Blue. Absolutely ridiculous.